Module 5, Objective 14, summarize how the brain can affect spinal cord-based reflexes and explain the significance of the Babinski reflexes. Integration and control of spinal reflexes. Reflexes are automatic, but processing centers in the brain can facilitate or inhibit spinal reflex motor patterns. Volun Terry movements and reflex motor patterns. Spinal reflexes produce characteristic responses for a given stimulus. The brain can also mimic or activate these same motor patterns through the normal descending pathways that travel from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system. These pathways can facilitate, inhibit, or fine-tune the established motor response and we, we do this all the time when we walk run or jump the reinforcement of spinal reflexes higher centers within the central nervous system can adjust sensitivity of reflexes by either stimulating excitatory or inhibitory inner neurons in the brain stem or spinal cord when excitatory synapses are chronic uh, chronically stimulated the postsynaptic neurons can then be in general facilitation. This continual reinforcement through repetitive behaviors enhances the spinal reflexes. The inhibition of spinal reflexes. Higher centers inhibit spinal reflexes by stimulating inhibitory neurons, um, creating inhibitory postsynaptic potentials at reflex motor neurons or suppressing the postsynaptic neurons altogether, thus inhibiting the reflex. There is a, a reflex that can be used clinically, um, normally in adults. The plantar reflex can be established by um, taking an object such as a pin, starting at the heel of the foot and stroking the bottom of the foot towards the tip of the toes. In a normal, healthy adult, this is going to cause the curling of the toes, as we see here. The Babinski reflex occurs without descending in inhibition. Um, when you do this procedure on an infant, starting again at the heel and stroking underneath the foot towards the tip of the toes, it's very common for the great toe or the hollux to flex and then the other four toes of the foot to fan out. This is the Babinski reflex. It's very normal in infants, but if this particular reflex is exhibited in an adult, it's pathological. It indicates some type of brain disorder or brain uh, malfunction.